Hi there. We're spending the next couple of weeks giving the system a little bit of a, a facelift ready for uh, release just after Christmas. Nothing major, just redoing really the navigation buttons and things to make it a little uh, clearer. Uh, but what I want to show you today is the estimating screen. So if I double click on um, this quote here, the system will tell me this is already being amended on somebody else's computer. Is fine, the system will allow that, but it just gives me a restricted view. I can still go to the prelims, I can still um, do the bill schedule of works and add bills in. But if I just come out of this and then we get the other user to log off that quotation, it will then allow me to come back into this as normal. So we see our summary screen and we've got all the other areas available to us. I just want to show you import of batches today. So rather than um, handballing a load of standard items, if the contract generally has two of this, one of that, three of the other, you can set up batches to save you entering them in. So we go to click here for more functions and say import batch of items. I've just got a couple set up here. So if I click on that one, you can see that we've got a door and frame um, and some stuff petitioning set up and second batch. And you can access these batches as well, even from within the quote, I can access the batch, click on it and then amend it and add another item in if I wanted to. So I could search my material library, anything in there and decide, yeah, we want, uh, one of those and then that goes into the batch and you might say well, generally we want two of those and it could be anything out of the library you can pick anything that's within the system that can go into into a batch so you can amend the batch on the fly as you're in the middle of a quote and then finish if i go to that first entry now you can see that box slash windows included so i can then just say import selected batch checks for any cost increases against each item and then puts them in. So we then quite easily can change quantities if we want. Now, if I change that, say to uh, four, the system will just say it's so not a unique item. So any changes to the description won't be saved with the original quote because I've used a generic item within there, but I can change the quantities that I want. I could change the description in this particular circumstance that will be shown on the, on the bill to the customer. If we make a mistake, thinking, crikey, I didn't mean to import that lot, simply go to more functions and clear batch import. It asks you to confirm that that's fine. Double check that you're sure you want to do that, and then it will just remove that batch. So if you put that back in again, just say import batch of items. Let's take the second one as an example, import, and in it goes, and that's all there is to importing batches and a quick look at the, uh, the new look screens of uh, Contract Controller.